Hello everyone, this is Lizzie. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today with day five of our 12 Days of Christmas craft series. This is being hosted by my dear friend Rosa Kelly from Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking. Thank you, Rosa, once again for having me part of this journey. And I have to tell you that I am loving this series. Like the girls, um, projects that they have been sharing have been amazing everybody's doing something completely different so i would highly highly suggest for everyone to go in and um go check out their channels comment subscribe like because these ladies are phenomenal crafters um first and foremost let me go ahead and share with you our requirements in order for you to be um eligible for our so giveaways we're each having our own giveaway in our channel you have to be 18 years or older of age you have to be a visible subscriber to every single one of our channels and you also have to like and comment because that's how we're going to pick our winners now it's not required for you to comment but if you don't comment we can't pick you so Enough of that. Let me go ahead and share with you my day five project. Um, last time I did share with you this cute little embellishment box with this gorgeous little tassel at the end. So this is what I'm going to show you how I created a tassel um, of various ribbons and jingle bells. So here in front of me, I have just an assortment of different Christmas ribbons that I got from Hobby Lobby, the Dollar Tree. I have lace. I have my jingle bells and I have a book ring. This is what I'm going to use to attach everything. Now, when it comes to your tassel length, it all depends on your preference. So if you look at, let me go ahead and take this one off because I don't want to pull out the entire box. When I look at this tassel, when I took this tassel, I just kind of measured to see how long I wanted my tassel to be. So all I simply did is I got my ribbon and I folded it in half over the book ring. And if this is how long I want my tassel to be, this would be the length of my ribbon right here. So that would be my guide. And that's what I um, want to go ahead and use. Now here I have this one and I have this long piece of lace, which I think I can fold over to make two pieces. Yep, I can. So I'll cut that there and cut this in half. And um, I have this pretty bling that I got from the Dollar Tree, but it's really, really thick. So what I started to do is I started cutting it in half, or not in half, but this is like the perfect ribbon size. So I'm going to go ahead and keep cutting that down, and I can actually get two pieces out of this one thickness. So let me first measure it off so I can know how long to cut it. And the measurement, uh, y'all, don't have to be precise i mean the the pretty thing about or the best thing about a tassel is that it's not having it does not have to be you know uniform because i mean the the more um on uniform i guess you could say it is the prettier it looks it looks very rusty rustic very shabby and that's what we're trying to go for so now the colors that i'm using in this tassel are not the pink and the pastels that type of uh, santa baby color it is the typical you know traditional red green and gold now this one i am going to save because this can easily be used as a trim somewhere else um and let's see i do have some red cord that I would like to use. This is from Hobby Lobby. And it's like elastic, so that's awesome. I can use it for binding um, traveler's notebooks, which I'm hoping to do one of those videos towards the end. So if you'd like to see one of those videos, please let me know down below. Or if you have a um, suggestion or a request of something to um, make for a uh, happy mail um, go ahead and leave it down below and I would love to see them so that way I can get ideas myself of what to do next because guys I am crafting along with you I do not pre-record these these are being done one day at a time so it can get a little crazy and also a little hectic in trying to figure out you know what ideas to put bring in so what i like to do is um bring in about two pieces per ribbon and even then that might be end up being getting a little chunky depending on how many ribbons i have going on here um so i already i only used one of these 
Put that there and put that to the side. Uh, let's see, I have this one that says love and I like, I like this Christmas tree one. I also got this one, I think, I don't know if I got this from Walmart. Guys, these ribbons are coming from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, and the Dollar Tree. So, sometimes I forget where I buy them. The Dollar Tree ones are easy to spot because I can recognize their, their cover. I think this one came from Walmart. Okay, so I know it looks like a jumbled mess right now. Just give me a second. Okay, so I have very uh, a various amount of thicknesses also. I have my regular type of ribbon. I have this thin one. I have the thin cord, so these are thinner. I have my bling. It's about the width of the ribbon. And I have my lace. I usually like separating them. Now I'm going to get some green thin ribbon if I can just take this tape off come on oh dear lord okay there we go and measure it about there and cut it in half okay so that's green and i want to say i also have let's put this one out of the way i have red and fold this in half so again all the depending just use what you got y'all like well you don't have to go out there and buy extra ribbon or unless you don't have any christmas ribbon but even just the plain colors gives it a christmasy feeling if you know what i mean um so then i have one more which is a sheer ribbon that i did get at the dollar tree and i love this 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 ribbon i'm any color any time like i love this ribbon i use it a lot for my closures and my albums instead of seam binding it's cheaper it's whimsical it's pretty so okay so now it's about putting together the tassel to make sure that the thickness of it is enough or if it's not too too much so i'm just going to alternate the ribbons starting with my lace i'm just gonna all there's no really method to my madness it's just what i'm putting together one green one red some bling and then a cord these are kind of tricky because and then do it again i'm very sometimes ocd I try and stick to like the same type of pattern, which sometimes doesn't, you know, go in my favor. And then the cord and the ribbon. Okay, so this is, and I'm just gonna pinch it in the middle. And there is my tassel. Now there's certain pieces of ribbon that are a little longer, so I'm gonna try and pull them this way. Okay, that seems like it's gonna work. Now the only thing that is missing are my jingle bells. So I'm gonna leave that there. I'm actually gonna put my glue gun just to hold it. And I'm going to get my thin ribbon. I'm gonna get one of each, one red, one green, because this is what I'm gonna use to string my um jingle bells in there and since these are thin i don't mind um having more than four of those okay so <clears throat> you string this in and the jingle bells i got these from the dollar tree as well so this can be a very affordable gift idea and not only do you, can you make one out of the supplies that you buy, since it is ribbon, you know, depending on how much ribbon you have in your roll, that, you know, will determine how many actual tassels you can actually make 
with it. So I, you know, you might spend what a good ten dollars, but you might yield yourself about ten or more tassels. So in a sense, each tassel comes out to about a dollar or less, which is what I love about it. Now, again, you don't have to make yours very, very chunky. You can make it simple and thin. It's all about your preference. But honestly, everybody here probably would like a good tassel to put at the end of their journal, at the end of their keychain, you know, and there's there are the little jingle bells, you see? And now I'm gonna do the same thing to the red. I don't know about you guys, but Christmas has crept up on me so fast. We, um, it's just been a very, very hectic, I guess, two months, um, because I am no longer, I had, I switched careers completely. I'm just gonna chit chat here while I do this. I switched careers completely. I'm no longer a teacher. I resigned from my district. Um, I, for those of you who have been following me um, for a while, you know that I was holding down two jobs. I was a teacher and a speech therapist after school at a rehab clinic. And um, the rehab clinic offered me a, uh, a full-time position as their clinical director throughout the day and then towards the end of the afternoons if needed i'm still treating patients because i am still a therapist um so that was something to get used to I'm, I'm on my third week at my new job so and there you go so it's something to get used to i'm not gonna lie um, i'm used to the teaching i've done that for 14 years but change is good okay so i'm gonna put one jingle bell on top and one of the bells on the bottom just so that way they won't be all chunked up together and i'm gonna fold this in half kind of check out to see you know, see how they end up all being different sizes so i'm going to just arrange them to make sure that they're somewhat even i think that would look good and i can easily go ahead and trim stuff off later but there's one little, this red ribbon is ticking me off. There it is. There we go. Okay. So now you're going to have to decide which ribbon you're going to use to wrap it. Now, I should have done this. Now, the lighting is going to change a little bit, guys. I'm sorry. I have to connect my glue gun. And I should have done this before I started so it can heat up. So let me go ahead and let that heat up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm back. The glue gun seems to have been heated up a little bit. So what you're gonna do now is you have your tassel or your ribbons <clears throat> um, folded in half. You're going to grab your book ring. I find it easier if I just open it and hook it right in the middle instead of trying to like thread it through. Uh, and it closes just like that. And then I'm just going to, you see this little hinge right here? I'm going to put it at the bottom. That way the ribbon hides it. And then I'm going to pinch it together like that. So now I have my tassel. I am going to grab whatever ribbon I'm going to decide to wrap around it. This one is going to be this pretty gold thin one fourth inch ribbon. And um, this is, everybody does this part differently. I prefer doing it with hot glue simply because I feel like it holds it a little bit better. But again, that's just my preference. Um, so you have to hold this and pinch it really, really tight. And I'm just going to line this bottom part right here with glue and adhere the ribbon to it. Just like that, just so that way it can stay put. And then I'm just gonna simply wrap it around once. And then I'm gonna start placing glue around the entire thing as I'm wrapping. To me, that just, it feels more secure in my opinion, but again, it's just my preference. And this glue gun doesn't wanna work. Um, because I, I just feel like it just, since it's adhered, it's glued, nothing really is gonna budge, you know? Okay, so then here is where I'm kind of like, you kind of get to sift through the ribbons, make sure it's nice and fluffy. 
it's already tight so you don't have to pinch so hard but yet you don't want to let it go completely and there you go okay so now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going with my glue and wrapping it around now you can continue wrapping it only one layer in other words you only see one length of ribbon I like doing two it's not too too chunky and it gives your tassel a little bit of a form you see what I mean here like I have you see one ribbon layer one ribbon layer there I usually tend to do two if the ribbon is long the the tassel is long I'll go ahead down to do like three and I think I'm going to do that for this one simply because since it's gold it gives a little bit more of a of a feel to it so I'm going to do like two and a half and this is all I do guys for a few rounds I put glue I pull it tight and I wrap it around and then I go back up to I go back up in wrapping just so that way it is nice and secure nice and tight I really hope I'm in frame here because I haven't bothered to check and you have to make sure that your 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 ring has not shifted on you Glue needs a glue stick. I think I might have cut too much of this ribbon, but it's okay. I like the real tight look of it. And I think that is good right here. So I'm just going to cut off a tiny piece. Now, this bottom part, this last piece, come on. I put glue on the ribbon itself so you do have to be careful and I simply grab it and I pull it and stick it down that way I know the last little piece of the ribbon isn't floating up or you know fraying or anything like that so that is my tassel I now here I mean I know it's already glued and stuff but you can still kind of manipulate your ribbon a little bit so that way you can get it to where you want it. But doesn't that sound cute? And all the beautiful gold green colors. And then you have this beautiful sheer. I love the way that looks in front of the, the Christmas tree. Because it looks like the Christmas tree is green. Just like it should be. Instead of white and gold. So there you have it. There is this easy, quick, fun way. And of course, inexpensive way. Let me turn the lights back on. I need to get a um what you call it one of those uh snakes so that way i can connect more than two things in an outlet um this is a really cute inexpensive way to give something to somebody um again i use let's let's try and see if you get your stuff at the dollar tree i used one two three four five six seven eight i used eight different types of ribbon and i used four jingle bells out of this entire pack that's nine and then i guess if you buy a pack of these at the dollar tree that's ten so ten dollars will yield you i would say at least ten of these so these tassels will come out for a dollar a piece and i think these are the cutest little things to give out um to your not only your crafty friends like you know anybody out there who is you know, into having tassels and their journals, their planners, their books, their keychains. It's just a cute idea. So all of this, if you buy it at the Dollar Tree, which the Dollar Tree does have beautiful ribbon, um, could be about a dollar a piece. And I thought that was pretty neat and a cute way to gift it. Now you can easily package this in a prettier bag and then put a topper on it, which by the way, I'm planning on showing you a little later about how I'm gonna package all these things up. So if you're interested in that, please leave a comment down below as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in guys and I cannot wait to get to you tomorrow. So until then, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.